we're here in the lounge and in the main lobby of the Belden Hotel, built in the early 20s uh, by the architects Meyer Fritzstein. And the purpose of this is to go over the gilding and how we got to the gilding that's in process right now. Not completed yet, but in process. And so the first thing that our firm does as preservation architects is we try to determine what was originally there underneath all the paint layers of the last 100 years. And uh, in order to do that, we hired the firm of Evergreen Architectural Arts. And what they do is they actually scrape away some of the paint. And as you can see here, and then they analyze the paint layers and go back to the very original paint layer and determine whether or not that was you know the paint color but also the gilding and in this case everything that uh, you see gilded right now was gilded originally back in the 1920s and the original gilding is still underneath several paint layers so with this report and with the physical act of chipping away thin paint layers and exposing the underlying gold, gold leaf, we were able to get a very good idea of what was originally gold leaf and what was not. We also know from the reports that the original gold leaf was imitation gold leaf, which they called Dutch gold, and that it had a glaze on there, which was either brown or gray or green, depending on the location. So based on all that information, we generate drawings that show where all the gilding occurs, the extent of the gilding, etc. And then the next step, of course, is to select the correct color of the gilding, which comes in different carrots, you know, 24 karat, 18 karat, French gold, etc. And then we use that to select the imitation gold leaf. Uh, once all the plaster repairs are done, then the surface gets primed with what's called sizing. In this case, they use a, sort of a mustard ochre sizing, which uh, accentuates the gold leaf once it's applied. So after the sizing is done, that's when they come in and they apply this gold leaf, which of course is a very, very thin material, and that gets then burnished onto the surface. And that's basically the extent of what you see here. Uh, now the original lobby was designed in the Louis XIV style, which is very heavy on the gilding, and which is what we're trying to restore the appearance to. Working with William Andrews, the general contractor on this job, we proceeded with doing a mock-up of the proposed gilding and uh, paint scheme, where you can also see in this case there is a red glazing over the gold leaf, which we're going to adjust, we're actually going more towards a brown. But that's the process that you have to go through in order to get to the correct uh, end result.